Now let us look at this question and actually it is a very very easy question and there is a very very shortcut way of solving this problem. But here in this video my intention is to show you how we got the solution. Okay, I mean to give you the complete explanation for this given problem. But trust me guys it takes hardly 5 seconds to solve this problem because this is a direct question from the Kenneth H. Rosen book. Okay. So we have P double implication Q and then we have to take a negation of this. And what is this double implication? My intention is to explain you what is this double implication. Okay. Assuming that this is P, this is Q and when I'm saying P double implies Q. Okay. So if uh, we can have the uh, things as true, false, 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 true, true, false and true, true. Now this double implication is true only when both these values are same. Either both of them are true or both of them are false. So in these two cases it will be true otherwise we are going to have a value which is false. Now when I take a, a complement of this that means we can have complement of P double implication of Q that will become false, true, true and false we can have this kind of value. Now we just have to check out of these four options which option is matching. Okay. Now see guys uh, I'm just explaining you this way because uh, it will be a very very uh, it will be kind of a lengthy process but uh, you will be able to understand it more thoroughly by this but then it is a direct identity or you can say the direct property of double implication that I will explain you uh, in this video itself. Okay. So the first option is saying P uh, a double implication of negation of Q. So let us first find out what is negation of P and let us first find out what is negation of Q. So we have negation of P that is required and negation of Q that is also required. So negation of Q will be true, false, true, false and it will be true, true, false, false. So when I'm saying P double implies negation of Q that means for this particular case we are discussing about the values this and this. So this double implication is true only if both the values are true. For example here in these two particular cases these two values are true. So in these two cases it will be true otherwise it will be false. Okay. So obviously the first option itself it matched but let us try to see the other options also. So next option is negation of P double implication of Q. That means we are discussing about this value and this value. Okay. So if we have double implication that means when both of them are true so here it is also true okay and uh, this is also true so again here we have a true value here we have a true value and these two values will be false correct. Now next question is uh, negation of P double implication negation of Q so here for these two cases this is true and this is true so when I am saying negation of P double implication negation of Q that will become uh, true, false, false, true. Okay. And the last option is Q double implication of P that is actually equivalent to P double implication of Q. These two are same. Okay. Now we have a confusion between these two. I mean this can be an answer or this can be an answer. Let us first recheck it again. So we have P implies negation of Q. So then we can have uh, these two options are actually matching. Okay, therefore the answer for this problem is option number A1 and option number 2 both of them are actually matching the solution for this given problem. Okay, so let us look at the next question.